Hello everyone, welcome to the third tutorial of JPL. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a border in JPL. So, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a JPL command, and also we have viewed this command in an online tool called Levelary. Dot com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a border inside in JPL. So, I will first write the command and I will let you know what this means 30, 30. Then, EV. 300 comma 200 comma 4 comma another comma if yes i have write these two lines i already showed you what this mean in the previous tutorial if you have not watched my previous tutorial, please watch my previous tutorial. So, copy. First, I will save this. Copy the code. Control A, Control C. Go to the levelary.com viewer. Paste the code. Hit on the reader option. See. We have created a border in JPL. Now, what these two line means? FO, I already told you FO means in the in my previous tutorial, it sets the x axis and y axis. And the next line is GB. The GB means the graphics box. It usually takes some parameter. The first parameter is the width, the second parameter is height, next parameter is the border thickness, fourth one is the line color is either white or black, the third, the, the last one is the degree of the corner rounding. Here I have specified the border, border width, it is 300. Border height is 200. I should increase the border width to 500. And also decrease the border width to 150. This is the thickness. I will also increase the thickness to 7 here. I don't specify the next parameter and what is the, which is the line color. It's either black or white and uh, also I didn't specify the fifth parameter that is the degree of corner rounding. Now click on the reader option. You see our text is inside the border. I will specify the fifth, the last parameter that is the degree of corner rounding to 5. It will make a round, rounded border okay so thanks for watching my video please like my video if you find this tutorial helpful thank you